so today's video is going to be a hit cardio workout um, so lots of you guys asked me on my Instagram or on my video whether I do any sort of cardio and to be honest I haven't done cardio for a long long time <laughs> until quite recently um, that's because I've gained some fats on my tummy area like I've said in my previous video um, so heat cardio is really efficient when it comes to burning fats so today's heat workout is going to be quite intense guys um, it's only 16 minutes 8 exercises 4 sets each um, and within each set you can do 20 seconds of the exercise and rest for 10 seconds and then repeat again and that's going to be a total of 32 sets 16 minutes this workout is going to burn so so bad but you're gonna feel so so freaking good so get on your active wear you can do this at home and let's get started so guys it is very important to warm up before any exercises so we are going to do six warm-up exercises 30 seconds each first we are going to start with a light jog for 30 seconds just a light one Then cross your arms and move your legs for another 30 seconds. Don't swing your arm too hard at first, start slow. Next, we're going to do butt kickers for 30 seconds. up to your hips level touching your opposite hand again start with limited range of motion until your body is more warm up I'm going to do some side lunges. This helps me to warm up my hips and legs area and also give it a nice stretch. Now for the final warm-up exercise, we are going to do jumping jacks, the classic one. Um, and your body should feel quite warm by now. for the heat routine 20 seconds on and 10 seconds off the first exercise is power jacks this is basically a jumping jack with a white squat so squat as low as you can with your legs quite wide apart then jump up like you're doing jumping jacks so when you're doing white squat or sumo squat um, you're working on your inner thighs and when you're jumping up you're basically working um, on the whole body level also remember to keep your back as flat as possible when you're doing the squat. Now rest for 10 seconds and then we're going to do this for another 20 seconds. Three more times.
Next, we have high plank jacks. Start in a high plank position and jump the feet out to the sides. It's as if you're doing jumping jacks but in a high plank position. Keep your back straight and contract your abs while you're doing it. So I've structured this HIIT workout so that we are alternating between full body exercise and abs exercise. Just a bit of breather in between. <laughs> Let's rest for 10 seconds and then we are going to repeat this for another 20 seconds. is jumping lunges. Start in a lunge position with your knees bent at about 90 degrees. Then jump and switch your legs. Make sure your front knee doesn't pass your front toes. This works on your legs, your glutes, your core, your calves. It is basically a compound move working on different muscle groups at the same time. It is so good. Oh man, you can tell how tired I was. Let's rest for 10 seconds and repeat that for another 20 seconds. Three more times, okay? Mountain climbers. This is a great abs exercise. Bring one leg in at a time as fast as you can. Do it fast. <laughs> um, or you can slow it down if you're getting tired. So guys, my posture here isn't perfect. Uh, my back is rounded and it's supposed to be straight. So I'm so sorry about that. So when I was recording this workout, I was really drained because I did um, back workouts two days ago and then legs workout the day before. So my body was like <laughs> super sore, <laughs> my back and my shoulders and my arms and my legs. So I have no idea why I recorded this video the next day. I should have really waited for one more day for my body to recover, but I needed to get this done. Um, yeah, so make sure your back is straight. I have another clip of the correct version that I've done in the past and yeah. 
Let's rest for 10 seconds and repeat that for another 20 seconds. So we are halfway there now, if you need to take a 30 seconds break before the next exercise, you can just pause this video or take a minute break, have some water and come back for the next round. <laughs> Burpees! You gotta include this for every HIIT workout. So start at a squat position, jump both legs back, then jump back into a squat position and jump into the air. Lots of jumping here. Um, you can include a push up too if you're strong, but I'm not. <laughs> Let's rest for 10 seconds and repeat that for another 20 seconds. Three more times. We have ski abs. It start in a high plank position, then jump both legs to one side, jump back into the middle, and off to the other side. This is my new favorite abs exercise. It's intense and I love it. Let's take a 10 seconds break and we are going to do it again. Oh.
we have jumping jacks because I know I was gonna run out of breath. Um, so this is our seventh exercise group. We are almost done, almost there. Keep going, guys. Let's take a 10 seconds break and we are going to do it again. with plank it's a killer after all those exercises because you gotta keep your body as straight as possible and it is so hard at this point but we're almost done last exercise group okay guys let's do this And finally, we are done! Congrats everybody! Good job guys! Um, and remember to do some cool down exercises and stretches. And that's it guys! Yay! questions that I get asked a lot in my apps video um, so lots of you guys ask me whether you can get like flat abs or abs definition or you know just flat tummy just doing those exercises in my abs video the answer is yes and no it depends on your current situation over here <laughs> so if you don't have much fats to begin with maybe just a little bit of fats then yes, you can get the definition really quickly. Like I could see mine just within a month. Um, so yeah, it depends on what you have here at the moment. Like 
If you have lots of fats around your abdominal area, then you need to do some sort of cardio. Like you can do heat cardio, which is my preferred way, but you can go for swimming, cycling, running. There's lots of other things that you can do to burn fats, burn calories basically. Um, so yeah, it's really up to you what you like to do. But the reason why I choose HIIT cardio is because it is a lot more time efficient. It is only like 20 minutes top and you get your work done, like your workout done. And you burn heaps of calories doing HIIT exercises because they are really quite intense. And at the same time, I can preserve my current muscle mass. And that is very, very crucial for me because it takes me a long time to build my legs, my glutes everything it takes a long time because i was once a skinny girl like really really skinny so i thought i'll address that before i end the video because lots of you guys asked me that um yeah my armpit is itchy right now Oops. also one more last thing guys i'm so sorry that this video is freaking long but this is really important because we have reached 80k subscribers just 80k of us i mean 80,000 of us seriously that's amazing thank you so much for subscribing to my channel for leaving me really nice comments giving my videos a thumbs up or whatever you guys do it's amazing thank you so so much um yeah thanks so much for watching this video today i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys soon bye